Howdy folks and welcome back to the Cop Crew server. I am the Tall Turtle and I have a to-do list for this episode that is a mile long. So let's get this thing rolling right away. First thing we're going to do is we're going to make a diamond sword. I had two diamonds left over and for some reason I forgot that I can make a sword out of that. So we're going to do that right now. Actually we're going to um, try to do that right now. There we go. We have a diamond sword. How exciting is this? So next thing we need to do is we need to go and get our cows and our pigs harvested. But it's about to get dark, so let's um hop into bed quick and we'll harvest some animals. Alright, it's daytime. Oh, by the way, I changed my door back to wood. And I redid all of this, which we'll talk about in a moment. But the reason I was able to make that door wood again is because down here I put... um gates to the nether room so when pigmen come up they cannot get to my front door because more and more of them were able to break through so i just decided to not even let that happen so let's head over here and we will get our cows and our pigs which will allow us to get bookcases which will allow us to enchant some stuff before we continue on with what we're going to do and wow this is so loud and this is so hilarious oh there's still some babies all right here we go um, let's try not to get the babies. Oh. Try not to get the babies. I want to get some critical strikes if I can. Whoops, I didn't mean to actually use my nice new sword for this. Um, I'm trying not to get the babies. There we go. Oh, there's a baby there. Careful, careful. The babies. Couple more babies. Oh, I got a baby. Whoopsies. Maybe I should let them grow up first before I did this. This is really difficult here. Well, I think we'll just leave one mama with the babies because, um, yeah, they're looking kind of sad. I kind of struck them all a little bit too much. So if we can move them out of the way here so I can get out without letting them out, it would be nice if they get out there getting whacked. All right, you stay there. Um, how are the pigs doing? These are all grown up. So this, I don't have to worry as much. I can just kind of clear the field here. And, um, yeah, let's just have at it. Alright, we got them down to two. There's so much server leg that I would whack one, and then it would squeal like three seconds later. So anyway, let's, um, let's rebreed these guys. I think I can breed them now. Oh, I got a stack of meats from the pigs. Let's see, guys. Yep, after all that, now I'm good. There we go. Alright, I'm normally not going to have that many animals at once. It's just, um... It's just I wanted to get my leather for my bookshelves. So, I think that's good enough for now. I hope 19 is enough to make the rest of the bookshelves. Um, we'll let the sheep be. We'll let them grow up. And let's head back inside and make these shelves paper to make some books and let's see how many books we can make um is it three and then there we go 17 books i don't know if that's gonna be enough let's see here first of all this has to become um wood and we'll spread these around how many more do we, we needed eight more right well there's two only uh, let's see, we should have some more here. Oh, there we go. Lots more. That's for a jungle trip, by the way. Oh, yeah, well... Oh, shoot, that's still not enough, is it? Oh, my gosh. Five. We need a couple more... Oh, we're not going to have enough books. After all that, after all that cow slaughtering, we're not going to have enough. Shoot. Well, let's, um... Let's see here. Let's do a couple of those. Just have them on hand for maps and stuff later. Oh, man. I'm kind of bummed about this. There's two more of those. And... Nope. Shoot. Well, we still need two more um bookcases so that's a bunch of more supplies which means you have to wait for those guys to grow up so that we can get the rest of our leather and finish our bookcases so um let me think how i want to do this god it's gonna take them a while to grow up isn't it they're still little babies well 
fine, we'll come back. Let's place the books that we do have. And then I'll give you a quick tour of what I've done. And then we'll move on with our to-do list. And then we'll finish this later. But I had all these plans. I was going to enchant a few things and all this. But we'll just have to do that later in the episode. So uh, we need to do all of these. And we still need at least one more bookshelf before we can... Um, before we can do what we were going to do because that's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 we need 15 to have full 30 level enchantment but maybe we can do something maybe we can do something fire aspect hmm. wouldn't that be funny if it's nothing else should we go for it or should we just wait till we can get that up to 30 levels Efficiency, I really want um, um, whatever that, oh my gosh, why can't I think of it? I really want fortune to make it worth it. Hmm, I don't know. I'm trying to decide if I should just go for it. Well, should we just go for it? See what happens. Silk touch. What? I thought you can only get silk touch from a book. Okay. Well, that's not fortune, but it's silk touch. I get my glowstone. I get my podzoil and my melisium, or whatever it's called. Um, now, is it worth it to use an enchantment on here to get fortune, perhaps? What are options here? Sharpness. Should we go for it? Just sharpness. But nine attack damage. Holy moly. That means we can run up to creepers and strike them twice and we can succeed in getting creepers. Well, silk touch is something I've been talking about for a very long time. But as weird as it sounds, I was kind of hoping for fortune first. Unbreaking. I think we can get like fortune one or something. If I enchant iron, is it worth it to enchant iron? I know it doesn't last very long, but I really don't want to go for more diamonds until I have fortune. And fortune and silk touch cannot exist together. Well, golly. Let's just do this, see what happens. Unbreaking. Okay, well, that was stupid. <laughs> you can't re-enchant, can you? No. Um, well... Fortune one. <laughs> Let's do this. Let's do that. Whoa, what else is down there? Wow, okay. Let's do this. Let's take that and go over here. And combine these things. Right? 13 enchantment costs, whatever. So then we'll get fortune and if it... Okay, there we go. So now we have these two... <laughs> Nice axes, even though one's iron. But there's fortune on. There's fortune one, I know, is better than fortune none. And then we have silk touch. Kind of wish the other way around, but whatever. Okay. It was a fun first enchantment and fun first anvil. I know you're all shaking your heads thinking it's kind of a waste, but hey, you know what? That's just how I roll. Right? Let's just fill this up. Oh, that's not working. What is going on with my mouse? It's like... There we go. There we go. Let's just fill this in because we can. Come on now. Alrighty. Well, we do have one book left. We need a couple more for bookcases. So let's go up here. Oh, it's nighttime. Has my thing grown up yet? Hey, they all grew up. So now I could have enchanted. And oh man, whatever. Okay. Let's clean up and get this stuff organized. And then we will do the next thing on the to do list. All right, yes, we're running back from the cows because I did not want to leave any to-do items unfinished. So I went and I got the rest of my leather so I can finish this bookcase thing and cross it off the list properly. And then um, I almost had enough levels because I went back and checked during that cut scene there. And um, I could have gotten silk touch on my shovel too, which would have been awesome. But... Um, too late now, so let's... Actually, I might get it when I get my food out of here. Maybe. Alright, let's quick make this bookcase and place it and be done with something already today. Alright, let's head down now and um, 
place her things. And when I cooked my meat, it did bring me up to nine levels. So maybe, just maybe, um, we can still get that silk touch shovel. Yes, it'll be iron, but whatever. So there we go. There are 16 books. And I don't know why I spelled those out because now it's really annoying. Let's throw that in there. Throw my shovel in there. Oh, 17. It changed. It was 9, 6, 9, and... Uh, well, I know it's a possibility, so we'll just keep dreaming. Dream big, I guess. Alright, so... Um, let's drop off what we don't need. Actually, before we do that, let me show you what I did. So I brought the glass all the way down. All the way down. And I dug out this room here, which something can go there. I did make an iron door. I cut this out. This is going to be a walkway this way, and then up, and then over. And I'll landscape all of this, and this will be our security wall on the side. So I do have plans. I just have to um, do them. So let's get reset, and I'll tell you the next item on our to-do list. All right, so I thought we would plant our coarse fruit today. So um, we're first going to start by outlining the area with our um, path block. And I hope I don't run into any monsters because um, server leg has been really bad for some reason. I'm the only one on the server though, so not sure what's going on. Um, it's just been a big problem when I was trying to kill my cows between scenes there. Um, I would hit them and they would it would be more than three seconds this time is really bad so let's see do i want to have this nice and square or do i want it stagger i think i want to stagger because we're gonna do cocoa beans there we don't need that many cocoa beans but the coarse fruit takes up more space so let's let's go like this and get our path block or our pathways in here all right so that looks good well no i think we need another one right there Whoop, what was that? Yeah, that's, um, interesting. All right, so, let's see. Now we got to plan out how we're going to do the block. So what's going to happen is we're going to have um, the chorus fruit on endstone. I think I'm going to raise it up like this. But then it needs to be far enough apart and staggered, I think. Something like this. I think something like that. Um, I only have four for now. I was thinking, well, maybe we only need four. I mean, really. Of course, that would go perfect right where that's in the way. I don't want anything to line up with anything else. There we go. Oh, starting to grow already. Makes a lot of noise too. And then I'll show you what we're going to do with the end bricks and the, um, the end rods as well. Alright, so that stuff's growing nicely. So what we're going to do... Um, obviously you don't need water. <laughs> because it's growing. Um, we're going to put in our end rods in the corners with end, or end stone with end rod in the corners. Am I saying that right? End brick, oh whatever. Stone is that, brick is this, rods are those, chorus roots is planted. Is this gonna work here or is that gonna cause a problem? So I've got three left, I was gonna do, that's not, I didn't leave, I didn't make this centerable, did I? I don't think, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, Five. I did not make it centerable. Dock on it. Let's put one. Let's just put one here. Man, those are loud when they grow. That's startling too. Is that three in or two in? That is three in. Oh my gosh, can you hear that? I wonder if my game volume is loud enough for that. Actually, you know what? Let's not make it symmetrical. Let's not even do it symmetrical that way. Let's just stick them in there. I like that. Let's see how that looks. Should I put another one somewhere else? I have an urge to put one right here. Even though there's not one on the other side. There. Looking good, I think. I think, I think, I think. 
Yep, we'll just let that grow. I hope it doesn't run into each other. Wow, we're getting a lot of fruit on that one. Holy moly. Wow. Oh, I see. It turned into a limb or something. Anyway, that stuff grows fast. All right, let's put this stuff away, and then we will do our next order of business. All right, so our next order of business is to head over to spawn quick before it gets dark. And grab some nether wart so we can brew things in a little bit, and then head and get some um, blaze from the blaze farm. And there's the new stone ceiling I put in. All right, I haven't been here. Whoa, do you see that? It like repeated itself. All right, let's head to um, let's head to spawn very quickly here. All right, and where is that community nether wart? There it is. All right, it's all wet here. That's weird. Um, let's get a few of those and then replant them. And let's see here. That's enough to replant. We only need three to replant. Can't grow any ourselves because we don't have any um, other or soul sand ourselves. But I just want to get some nether wart. There isn't soul sand in here, is there? No. Ooh, a lot of bottles and stuff though. All right, let's head to the blaze farm and get some blaze powder. Finally. All right. So I got to figure out which direction the blaze farm is. I think it's this way. Community blaze farm. Now I have no idea where it is, so we're going to have to um, carefully figure out where this thing is, because I don't have a clue. I might have to ask in chat. There are some people in chat. That's the store. Um, I know there... What's this in the middle of the road? What is this? Boats. All right, base base okay so there's some bases oh it's ice to get to the thing all right well there's no blaze farm down there if they're bases um i do know that oh my gosh the server leg is so bad it keeps like repeating itself if i'm fighting something that could be a big problem um shoot i know there are fortresses down this way i think am i heading south Ooh, this is kind of cool Blaze farm. An end portal. Uh, what? No. Yes. Oh, don't want to touch him right now. I don't want to fight anything right now because, um, leg is so horrible that I'm afraid I'll just lose it and not even know I died until after I died. So, let's keep going this way and see if we see a blaze farm. I know the portal's down here because end portal, because this is where we went. Um, to end portal, where's the blaze farm? Um, I know the portal's this way because this is where we went for the big dragon fight. But the question is, well, blaze farm must be down here too, because here's the there's the um, fortress. Um, nope, that'd be the end portal. Whoops. Slimeville. Where's the blaze farm? I heard blazes a second ago. Um, how do we get back? I don't even know how I got... Uh-oh. I got turned around. What? I just got turned around already. Oh, here it is up here. Okay. I need to ask in chat where this blaze farm is because obviously I have no idea. So I will be right back. Okay, so we backed up to this part because I was told in chat that this yellow line leads to the blaze farm. So even though that was a portal there for the end, and I knew that from our dragon fight, this line is supposed to lead us to the blaze farm. So let's see if it does. And, um,. This looks awesome, though. I kind of feel like I'm in a hospital room or something. <laughs> We're in a hospital. Oh. So is that it? Or is this it? Um, let's keep going straight. Ooh, sea lantern lights. That's nice. Someone did a lot of really nice work on this. I'm really impressed. Um, okay. So this makes me nervous. Because this is definitely... 
a blazy area. But I'm afraid of... Oh, there's Cephas Base. We'll be going there soon to get to the jungle. Um, let's go back and go down that hallway. I'm really nervous of running into a Wither Skeleton because my leg is so bad. Oh, wait. Is it down, down here? Hmm. Let's go this way. I'm just so nervous about this leg. I'm afraid of running into a hostile mob and dying without even knowing I died. Well, let's see. What's down here? At a door. Let's eat because we're. Oh, yeah, this has to be it because look at all the chests. Okay, I'm gonna get mad if I put torches down here so I can see what I'm doing since I got shaders on. I can't see jacks. Oh, wait, maybe we can't have those because then they won't spawn. Um, shoot. Do I just take. Oh, crap. Wait a second. How does this work? I didn't even ask how this worked. Oh man, I should probably do my homework before I do this stuff. I'm so bad. Um. Wait, are they dying? Wait a second. So, are they dying? Do I go in there and fight them? But they came down. I'm so confused. Can I get to the chest from here? No. I'm super confused right now. But if I go in there... If I go in there, they're gonna get me, right? I don't know. Do I just go in there and... Bail? Do I just attack? No, they're behind glass. Okay, well, you know what? I'm just going to take some of these and get out of here, and then I'll ask later, and I'll fix that later, because I really have no idea what I'm doing. Or maybe I don't do anything. Maybe they just go down there, and I just collect the rods? Man. I don't know if I should just acknowledge my newbiness. Oh, no, there's glass there. Oh, that is all they do. Like, oh, okay, see, with these shaders... I can't see and I can't see what's going on. All right, so they go. That is all solid glass. They go down there and then they die and then you collect the stuff. Now it makes sense. Just between Optifine and the shaders, I really have no idea what's going on. So, all right, well we got our blaze rod, I guess. Um, well, let's head back and make our brew stand. All right, so we are back and um. I was going to mention that I know I talk about shaders a lot and the issues it causes. And I know I've said many times before that um, this game is way more difficult with shaders. So in a few episodes from now, I'm actually going to do some stuff without shaders. We're going to do some mining and things without them just to see how it looks without it. And go back to the nether again just to see how it looks because... Um, after, oh man, that blaze farm thing was embarrassing. I couldn't tell what was going on because I couldn't see anything. Um, well, I got way more of this than I need. Uh, yeah, that was not smart. Oh my gosh, I am totally out of it today. And the reason why is because in my real life, I'm getting my piano service tomorrow. I'm a professional pianist in real life. And, um... I have a big day planned tomorrow, and that's all I can think about. Plus, I had food too many cans of Coke. So, all that embarrassing stuff aside, let's get this brew stand made. <laughs> I can't remember how to make it. I'm, I'm just losing it. Let's see what's going to be. Where is it going to be? All right, there it is. Do we have everything? Oh, that's it. Cobblestone and a blaze rod. Okay. Well, that takes care of that. Let's, um, we have another wart already. We need... I got some other stuff collected. I already forgot what I was doing. We need to make some water bottles. And we already have everything else down here, I think. I think you already put everything down here. We're going to make some fire potion. Oh, yeah. And I wanted to make a... Um, no, it's in the hostile mob section. And I wanted to make 
um, night vision because I wanted to see what night vision looks like with the shaders. So there we go. That has to all go with me. And we need to make a golden carrot as well. I think I kept some carrots just for this. And I think I have enough pieces of gold for this. Whoa. Man, this leg is killing me. I always get annoyed when other people on YouTube talk about server leg on SMPs, but... <laughs> I don't know how to make a golden carrot. Are you serious? But, um... I kind of understand now why. Oh, you need those ingot things. Okay. Um... Oh, so that's all you need then to make a carrot? Okay, well, whatever. So anyway, server leg. I always get annoyed when other people on YouTube talk about it, but I kind of understand it now, especially when I was scared to run into monsters because I wouldn't be able to get them. Um, but that's okay. Um, let's head down and make our glass bottles. And then we'll brew this stuff up. All right, 60 glass bottles. I think that's more than enough. Um, yeah, so let's head back inside and place our brew stand, finally. And see, I can't even open up the gate. Let's try that again. There we go. All right, I'll be right back. All right, so now for the moment we've been waiting for. There's our brew stand. And here's a piece of nether wart. And here's a blaze rod. And here's one of those guys. Here's another. We need another one of those. And here's our golden carrot. And here are six bottles. And I think that's all we need to brew some stuff up. So let's um, first eat something because we're getting a little hungry. And let's place our bottles here. And one, two, three, four, five, six. And oh my gosh, look at that. Wow. That was intense. Don't I put that in? Oh, do I need powder? I need blaze powder. I should have a crafting table down here, don't I? I don't have a crafting table down here. Well, let's change that right now. All right, let's place this thing in the corner, I guess. That should get us oh, two. I thought it was three. Whatever. Now let's try this. Come on. Try this again. There we go. All right. Put one of you in there. Put, one, put you guys in there. Put one of you in there. And that'll make our awkward potion. All right. Then we'll stick you in there. And I forgot um, my redstone to make these longer. And... There's our fire resistance, and let's make it eight minutes, because we can. We go, take those out, put these in, and then our golden carrot. And I think you can do redstone for these as well. It sure looks like it. And there you go. So these potions, I'm going to put a couple of these here, but I'm going to bring the fire resistance into my adventure chest. Um, because when well, we have adventures in the nether. So the blaze powder actually will come down here in the supplies. And I need to find my own soul sand so I can um, make my own nether ward farm too by the cocoa beans. So that sums up the brewing. Let's, um, let's head upstairs and see if it's nighttime yet because I really want to see... What the night potion is going to do is shaders. I think it's going to be disgusting. I just want to try. Alright, so this will go in my adventure chest. These are things I quickly grab. If I go on adventure, for example, I put my nice pickaxe there. And I should actually put this pickaxe in there too. Then only use that like when I'm mining. Um, I'm going to take this in a minute. Otherwise, we got a lot accomplished. Um, I was going to do more, but... Um, I'm scared to fight anything because that server leg, between the three second delay on the cows and chest not opening and stuff, I don't want to come up onto a monster and die before I know I die. I know I said that like six times. Holy cow! How high is that going to grow? That's insane. I'm going to have to pillar up there to get the flowers. Um... I didn't do that wrong, did I? 
That's not going to grow indefinitely, is it? Because I have to get those flowers down to plant more someday. Um, I don't know. Let's just stand here and wait for nightfall and then we'll test our potion and see what happens. Alright, it's nighttime. Let's see what happens when we take this potion. Nothing. With shaders on, absolutely nothing. I thought it was all going to turn bright white or something bad, but... Huh. Well, that didn't go as expected. Well, that's completely useless. <laughs> so, um, I really, really enjoy playing with shaders for the eye candy. But the more I play with shaders, the more I understand why so few people actually use them. Because as I'm getting to, like, what do you consider mid-game level of play and the things I'm starting to do, it's there's some difficult things. Like that blaze farm, that was really difficult since I had, didn't see it before, didn't understand. And then running through the nether and now with night vision. What if I actually needed night vision for something? And it's doing nothing for me at all. Um, well, it's still pretty, though. So we'll see. Um, I do plan on using shaders most of the time. Our next episode is going to be the jungle episode, and I plan on using shaders then. However, the next episode after that, we are going to do some things without shaders on purpose. But, um... Yeah, we'll have to see. I don't know. I might go back and forth. Um, those bubbles are hilarious. Well, anyway... Kind of a hodgepodge of a to-do list. Just a bunch of things I want to get done and accomplish today, which we did. We succeeded. So I'm going to clean up my inventory, get ready for the jungle, and I'll catch you next time.